All right, the Cooper's Extra Strong Vintage Ale 2017, 7.5%. Uh, first time I ever bought this beer was back in, I reckon, 98 when they first released it, maybe 97. Bought some for my dad for Father's Day. Bought a case for him and a case for me. It was the strongest beer I'd ever had at the time. Um, and we drank them. And then two years later, they were worth about a thousand bucks a pop. Yes, Ash. Do you want to have a new game for this? I will in just a minute. Yeah. Alright, staying at Dan's house tonight. Ash is keen on the game. So, pours a very hazy, a uh, very uh, rich amber colour, almost ruby. On the nose, there's real strong caramel malt. Uh, a little bit of citrus hops. But yeah, it's mainly malt driven. Oh. Um, heaps of caramel malt, really malt driven. Uh, you got biscuity notes in there, plenty of caramel, um, almost burnt toffee. There's a dryness that comes from that caramel character. It's not at all cloying. Um, it's kind of like a miniature barley wine. Um, you'd expect that at 7.5%. It's not going to be a full size barley wine, but it's sweet up front, sweet malt, medium full body, and a nice dry finish. The bitterness is firm. Carbonation is medium full. Um, yeah, it's this is really good. I, I was expecting to have more hops. I think last year they had more hops, but yeah, this is really, really good, really well balanced. Everything you expect out of Coopers.